So as much as we want to pray healing blessing for you guys, I want to make sure we get rid of the enemy as well. Because the enemy is the one that wants you to be miserable and wants you to be compromised. So we just want to make sure that we cover our bases. Because the biggest thing the enemy does is try to co-opt our minds. And that's the rough part, because it's harder to come against the co-opting of our minds than it is to work with the physical body. And I learned this when I was in the hospitals, as you guys know, from the very beginning, doing the healing that God had me do, which was of the ICU patients, super sick people in the hospitals who couldn't be cured and couldn't be healed. And I saw God heal their mind as well as their body. Because everybody in the hospitals is, is miserable and frowny and hopeless and despairing. And God, I have more and more pictures of joyful smiles of people in the ICUs. Because God, they know that, God, that they're there to trust the Lord. Even when the doctors have told them they're incurable. Yet they're still smiling and they're happy and they get cured. The people I would see in the hospitals who never got prayed for were the ones with the big frowns. They were the ones that didn't get healed. They were the, the people who stayed crippled or, or, or would stay sick because they really weren't working with the Lord. So it's crucial that we, we heal our minds and our bodies. I can't be more crucial and important about that. We don't want to leave any level untouched. It's really important that we give you guys the absolute best that, that I can give you as a, as a vessel for God. And this is information that the doctors don't know what to do with. We, when you go to that level, as I've mentioned, as I'm just starting to teach this a little bit in the, in the, the churches and the healing events, we don't even have drugs for these things that I'm praying in for you guys. There are no drugs. Only God. The, the, the research from places, as I've shared, the research is from your top medical schools. It's from the NIH, it's from Harvard, it's from Stanford, it's, you know, it's all your top institutions. It's from the Silicon Valley top, most successful genetic companies. And, and all we're seeing is that what we're doing at the clinical level is very substandard compared to what we're understanding about the actual creation at the genetic level, which is the creation of God to life. That is what we're dealing with. And, we'll, and what they're saying in these things like the research papers is we're way behind the times. What we're starting to understand of how they don't say God created us because they're scientists and they're secular and they're, you know, they could be atheists for all I know. But they're understanding that medically what we're doing for people is already way out of date. And, and you know, I was joking um, the little bit I started to share this. For example, the mood altering drugs we give people, they're completely substandard because they don't even fit our current understanding of how mental illness works. So we're giving people drugs that, well, I look at what I showed you. I showed you the picture of the woman with the hundred, I'm going to call it the hundred drugs. Nothing could cure her. Didn't matter what drug. Take this drug, take this drug, take this drug. Didn't do a thing for her. She was as depressed. It's just morbid depression with this poor woman. So we were at the clinical level giving her everything we understood to give her, and it was zero. And then God, we come in at the complete level of the healing of the Lord, then she heals. And she's had a beautiful healing from God. Now that's a genuine healing. So what they're despairing about in the medical field is all this amazing research is coming in, we don't have any drugs for this stuff. And they're researching really hard, like new immunotherapy areas in cancer. This stuff, you know, is, is happening, but it's snail. It's so slow. They'll do like one heavy-duty research study and, you know, and analyze it, and this thing can go on for quite a long time. God can heal everything instantly. He can heal all the millions of things that are out of balance all at once. And nothing can compare to God. If we wait for this, the war on cancer has been going on forever. It's, it's so many years I can't even count. It's way before any of us were born 
probably. <laughs> it's endless, and, and we're no, you know, there's, there's this big bragging. We, we don't cure any cancer. We, we were a little better at getting people in remission, but there's no cure, and it doesn't mean you don't get cancer again. It doesn't mean you don't get relapse. God cures cancer. Now that's where we have to take the information that he's been kind enough to give us in the medical field and then take it out into prayer and use the scientific and medical information that we have and bring it to him, which is what he really wants of us, along with love and goodness and caring. And we're all here tonight. I want to make this point as brothers and sisters in Christ. I really want to make that point because we're not all here as a bunch of strangers and everybody's here with their own medical issue. God created us to love our neighbor as ourselves and to love the Lord thy God. And when we really make God happy, it's because that's what we're doing. You're never going to read about all the stuff that you guys write about tonight in the Bible. You, you're never going to hear any of these terms in the Bible. Because for God, he wants our hearts and our minds, number one, to receive the healing from him. And he also tells us we are temples, temples for the Holy Spirit to dwell in. And he, he will heal us of everything. It's not that he, he doesn't want us to be healed. He does. But he wants us to follow the top commandments. Love the Lord thy God. Love thy neighbor as thyself, and we're all here to love one another as much as get healed, because that's part of our healing. We want to see everybody get their healing. That's, that's what we're here to see, is you guys be blessed. So we're going to start to pray in just a second. And I'm going to start, we've got to get rid of the enemy. You guys okay with that? Yes. I want to kick him out yes. completely. He is a pest, and he's an irritant, and he'll do anything he can to just cause havoc, cause misery. I never want to give them an inch. What I'm going to ask you to do from the beginning is focus on everything you want to get rid of, whether you've written it on here or you've not written it on here. Give your, what God wants from you, remember, is your love and your faith in Him. He wants every one of us here to have the faith, you know, like a small little, little mustard seed. He will make our faith gigantic. If we just remember, he says that you can move mountains with faith. And, and it's true that we really can move mountains. And so, all the foundational stuff, I want you guys to focus on not your illness in the way that, oh, I'm so sick and I'm hopeless, because that's the doctor stuff. We're not here tonight to do the doctor stuff or the devil stuff. We're here to really rejoice in the Lord. So I want you guys to focus on what you need healing on as the Lord's time to heal you. That's how, the only way I want you to focus on what you need healing from. Because there's nothing you guys have that can't be healed. There's not a single person in this room, as I look over everything on the sheets and I look at all of you, that you can't heal. And, and as I say, please know... That, and I'll say this before the end, I welcome all of you to keep coming to any one of our ministry events if you want more medical prayer. I encourage it. Go get our medical treatments if you want. I'm not telling you to do it or not do it, but the best thing you can do is get the prayers that are from the Lord. Spiritual prayers, medical prayers, everything that is godly, nothing can touch God. So I just want you guys to know you are always welcome to, to have me pray with you, for you, over you. And I encourage you to take advantage of this. Everything I pray into you tonight, and I encourage this every time I do this now, take what I pray into you and use it for yourself. Keep praying for yourself every single day. Come back anytime you want a prayer over you. I love doing this work. And then when you're not with someone like myself, just keep praying for yourself every little bit you can remember from the medical side, from the principles. You don't have to know all the details. I'm not telling people to go to medical school. But it's very powerful because it is the creation of God that 
he, he did for each and every one of us, and he is proud of his creation, and he wants us to have knowledge. Remember, my people are destroyed for lack of the book of Hosea. I mean, it's right in the Bible. So I can't, you know, I don't make this stuff up. This is the Lord saying this. So as much knowledge as you can have, you, it's just a good thing. That doesn't mean you have to go out and practice medicine or any of this stuff. But it's going to be a blessing to pray over, and it's going to make you more knowledgeable and stronger. Let's start right now. So, dear Lord God, dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you, God, for your absolute goodness and blessings and love. And I just want to begin this session with what I just said to everybody. Lord, I want to remind everybody that you want us to love you and love our neighbors as ourselves. You say this is commandment one and commandment number two. God doesn't talk about um, rheumatoid arthritis or fibromyalgia or um, memory loss or cancers or any of this stuff. Because in the Lord, the most important thing to you, Lord, is to uplift our mind to you and to love you and to love one another. So I want to begin this in my prayers tonight for all of us. Because when we do this, we are already pleasing you and we are halfway healed. I just cannot get over the, the, the absolute fact that as we do this and we please God, we are halfway healed from illness. When we love the Lord and we love our neighbors, because we are conforming our mind to God, and God does not get sick. God created the world. He, he created the animals. He created us. He created the, the moon. He created the oceans, the, the trees. I mean, God is all-knowing, all-brilliant, all-creative. He's endless strength and energy. We draw a little tiny bit down from the Lord in the creation of our lives. And so it's an amazing thing that God says that he created us in his image. And the fact that he created us to love him and to love one another is already showing us that he created us in his image. And I want to make the point that the more we conform to him, and the more we serve him, each in our own way, I'm just serving him the way he wants me to serve him. But each and every one of you, he's given a path to serving him and our brothers and sisters in Christ. And as we do this, part of our healing and strengthening is by doing this. And, and, I, and I want to begin this way tonight. Because the more we do this, the more we take ourselves on the path to healing in a way that is absolutely deep and profound. So I want to begin our healing session tonight, Lord, by just praying to you a big, huge thank you for the blessings that you give each and every one of us of life. There is not one of us that is better than the other. That is what's amazing. A lot of times we create people as idols, you know, we'll make a, this person an idol or that. All of us are precious to you, and each and every one of us has our special purpose that you have created us for. So I want to pray that with great thanks. I want to pray against the enemy, because the enemy is absolutely a thief. Um, he's evil. He did not create the world. Um, he, he gives himself a lot of importance, and he is completely persistent and irritating, completely irritating. And I just want to pray, Lord, that he be destroyed. And, and I pray him out of each and every one of you. This is the, the greatest blessing that I can pray into you guys, along with the restoration of your health and your wellness, which we're going to get into in just a moment here. But we want to crush the enemy because we do not want him to lie to you guys. We don't want him to give you false um, information. Everything on these sheets where you feel badly about this, that's from the enemy. God is perfect good. He's perfect love. He's kind. He's joyful. He's caring. He's positive. 
Love is patient, love is kind, love doesn't keep a record of wrongs. We know all the good things that God wants us to think and feel and believe. The enemy's the one that wants you to just feel completely miserable. And unfortunately, in, he's kind of co-opted us from the medical field because it's a, it's a secular, atheist field for the most part. So instead of like throwing our arms around each and every one of you in a big hug, which we should all be doing as doctors, and we should be loving you from all our heart and in every bit of our mind, we're just here giving you bad news. That's why I say, don't listen to us, get your treatments if you want, but listen to God, don't listen to what we have to say. We're always going to be the, the bad news people. Lord, I just want to pray that the enemy be completely crushed and, and taken out of each of your lives. And I encourage each and every one of you, when you start to have bad thinking, because that's how the enemy is going to attack you first, is make you hopeless, make you negative, make you despairing, make you angry, make you hopeless. Any negative thought or feeling is coming from the enemy. And I just want you all to recognize that, and when you start to go down that path, say, whoops, here comes the enemy again, and he's going to do this every time he possibly can. That I guarantee. And just say, look, I know this is the enemy. And, and ask God to come in then and work with your mind. This can be really hard to do. There is no question that this can be a tough one for each and every one of us. We all have our time. We just go above our tolerance. We're, where we have the best intentions and we just get pushed beyond our tolerance level. And then the negative thoughts start coming in. There's, I don't know any exception to this. And unless you're Jesus, and look what happened to Jesus, he didn't want to be crucified and tormented and tortured before that time. He even went through a little bad time, and, and he's perfect. Son of God, but he was in a human body. And so even a little bit he had to deal with. And, and he sacrificed himself for each and every one of us. He was broken for us. Look what he did. And so just know when the enemy comes in, just tell him to call upon God at that time and ask God to give you the mental strength to stay believing and trusting and joyful in Him. This is the most important thing you can do. As I say, I have picture after picture going, going back from the hospital times with people being given the worst diagnosis, the worst outcome, smiling. Because, and then God heals them. When you smile, even with the worst potential outcome, God's going to turn you around. Because the enemy is the one that wants you to believe in the worst potential outcome and that you're never going to get better from it and you're just going to get worse. That is truly the enemy. You have made the enemy's day when you believe him that you are hopeless, helpless, never going to turn around. As I say, my early times in the ICUs in the hospital was so instructive to me because my patients who'd get prayed for, God would turn them around and he'd heal them. And they, they're joyful in their pictures being sick and they're super joyful being healed. And the poor other patients that didn't get the blessings of God and the prayers, ah, they were just frowning and miserable and struggling and they were seem like they're forever in the ICUs. You know, they just struggle in misery. Do not let the enemy co-opt you. So I encourage each and every one of you as you leave here tonight to go to the Lord when, when the enemy tries to come against you and give you bad beliefs and just know it's the enemy and turn it around. Again, I'll say this over and over again. We only die when it's our time to go back to the Lord. We all are going to have that time. But it'd be much nicer to go back to God being strong and healthy, wouldn't it? Absolutely. And being without illness. And we don't, you know, there are times where God is going to take us. 
but I don't see him taking very many people. So until you go home to God, you have every opportunity to be healed and to get better and better and better. So when it's our time, it's our time. Let's go back being as functional and strong and healthy as possible and having good lives. And, and don't focus on, anybody can go today, anybody can go tomorrow. God could take me like tonight. I think he's working me hard, so I don't think he wants to, want to take me tonight, but who knows? I don't know who God to take me. He's going to take me when he takes me. In the meantime, I want to be a blessing to him, and I want to be joyful in the Lord, and I want to have a great mood, and I want to enjoy everything I'm doing, and I want to help you guys, because that's what God wants. You know, he, he wants us to love one another and bless one another. So every smile you have is a, is a blessing that, that God wants you to have. So I want to start with that, because that's a really important piece of information that I'm sharing with you guys, and I'm sure you all basically know it anyway. So I want to go into the miracle of creation. Let's go back to the absolute, as far as God has shared with us, because right now in the medical field, it's about as far back as we can go. And if God wants us to go further, he will show us something further that we don't even know about. But right now, this is about as far back as we can go. So I want to take you guys as far back as we can go medically, and I want to go to the time where you didn't exist, except as a concept, as an idea, a bunch of potential creations that God, that God wants to have, have exist. So I want to go back, Lord, to that time with every single person sitting in this room. And Lord, I want to go into the miracle of creation with each and every one of you, and in doing that, as I say, we want to kick out the devil, Satan, the demonic, the evil spirits, and we're going to go all the way back into the family generational curses to the beginning of time where, where anything of you in a physical body going back into every ancestor could have even existed. And those generational curses from the family have been there for decades, hundreds of years, as far back as we can go without any of us even knowing, you know, that far back, you know, not having some written history or oral history from our family. And so I want to go back into your family and into the miracle of creation as God created each and every one of us, where the male and female come together and it is going to be created as a human being in the mother's womb. And we know, I love 139th Psalm, I'm constantly quoting it. Because God, he basically takes us through that in a way. And, um, and, and we're very aware that he created us before, after, day, night, before we we're ever even physically created. And I want to go back to that time when who you are gets poured into the little tiny speck that is you. At that time, we're just little tiny specks, and that's about all we have, is billions of pieces of genetic information pouring into who we're going to become. And I love the way God does it as much as we can understand it from the field of genetics, which is that when, when you got created, your mother's um, genetic information and your father's side of the family get come together, get poured into you, and all of a sudden there you are. And what happens? You get chromosomes poured into you, 23 from your mother's side, 23 from your father's side, two of which are gender specific, and then each of your chromosomes are made up of DNA, which is the descriptive material on <coughs> the smallest detail of who you are supposed to be. And then the DNA is joined together in anything from a thousand to a million base, base pairs, um, which contain up to three billion pieces of information. It's amazing how God creates this stuff with phosphate and, and sugars um, being, you know, kind of the pieces of the ladder with the bases being the spokes in between, and there's 20 to 30,000 of these genetic units with up to 3 billion different pieces of information within the base pairs, 
and then you're replicated almost identical but not quite into the RNA and then you become physical because then God takes the messenger RNA, the RNA, and, can, and then you code for protein. At that time you all of a sudden become physical because that's when the amino acids come together, um, essential and non-essential, and they start creating structure. So it's an incredible process that God takes us through, and it's in, virtually instantaneous in the Lord, and then we just get more and more complex and more bigger and bigger and bigger, even as we're developing within the womb until we're finally born, and you know, whatever you guys were when you were born, five pounds, six pounds, seven pounds, eight pounds, nine pounds, ten pounds, whatever you were. And none of you are ten pounds anymore. You're, you're quite a bit bigger than that. And we become more and more complex and more and more gifted and, and more and more um, capable. So at that time, that's when you get poured in your genetic material with all the mutations that come through from the family generational curses. And at that point in time, I want to pray into each and every one of us because we have the genetic curses and then throughout your life you get the acquired um, genetic mutations. So we have birth mutations and we have acquired mutations. And I want to pray into this and ask God for restoration and healing because everything that you guys have come into tonight um, has possibly been there from that very second in which you were created if it's coming in through um, the family generational curses, or the enemy has just come in and just damaged and destroyed your genetic material. It's endless how much there is. You should just see this one sheet I put together for the glioblastoma multiforme for this one pastor. You can't imagine the number of patients there are in the genetic material that will allow this cancer to form. So I want, and that's above and beyond the basic mutations we see that are in every cancer. This is above that in his cancer. So I want to start by praying into everybody to the Lord and let's just ask God. And I ask that you guys can pray with me as well. Please feel free. I invite you to do this. Let's pray to God for his blessings and his mercy and his love as he Let's go back to creation and let's clear up all the damage and the stuff that we don't want in there that the enemy created. We can do a lot better than uncountable numbers of mutations from the time you created. So Lord, I just want to pray to you for all of my brothers and sisters in Christ. And let's go into every little detail of you guys. We're going to go into your 37.2 trillion cells, every one of which has genetic material. And that includes your almost 100 billion neurons of the brain and nervous system with their 7,000 chemical receptor sites per neuron. And we want to go into every little detail, Lord, because for you, details are nothing. For us, they're impossible. How do we deal with all, you know, going out to that many decibels? with that much um, information. But for you, Lord, you could literally heal every human being on the earth at the same time if you chose to do that. There is nothing that you can't do. And Lord, I, I thank you for being our Heavenly Father and loving each and every one of us so much. And for listening to our prayers to to heal us and give us the means more and more to get the enemy out of our life and to be blessed in you and to uplift us in you and to give us the mindset that will allow us to keep the enemy away. Just keep remembering, we've got to keep the enemy away from our mindset. We don't want to invite him in constantly through a mindset that allows the enemy to rule us to control us. So Lord, and again, here we are in our chromosomes, 3, 10, 18, 21, those are found, just their foundational chromosomes to let the enemy into our mind. So I want to go through every single one of these, Lord, because I don't want anybody here 
to have to be dealing with this. I'd like, if we all had a reunion, I'd like us to get together in a year or two years or three years. And you guys say, wow, well, I'm just getting better and better and stronger and stronger and more and more good things are happening in my life. Thank you, God. And so, um, so I want to pray into every single level that I just mentioned. So, Lord, thank you, first of all, for creating us with such brilliance, so many details, yet such efficiency. It's just amazing that there's so many details, there's so many chemical reactions that go on 24-7, yet you focus this into pathways, you focus this into um, processes that we recognize as those things that make us up, and that give us giftings, that give us blessings of those things that we love about our life. We feel very excited, and we feel very awestruck by, by the wonderful things that you do for us. So Lord, I want to go into the miracle of creation and pray into this for everybody here in this room. And that as you are creating us, Lord, we, we cast out the enemy. And, we, and I want to pray, Lord, that we can fix and restore anything the enemy did to our genetic material as we came in. And anything the enemy was trying to do as we were being created, even at that moment. And so I want to pray in to 37.2 trillion cells in each and every one of us with... Um, 46 chromosomes, Lord, and we know there's a lot of diseases that occur at even the chromosomal level. There are cancers like sarcomas that occur at that level. Down syndrome occurs at that level. We see um, neurologic diseases that occur at that level. There's a lot that can occur even at the chromosomal level and certainly at the level of the DNA and at the you know finer, finer points. And Lord, I just want to pray into all of this for my brothers and sisters in Christ, that every one of us has a blessing from you to have the most incredibly beautiful, perfect genetic material. And I invite every one of you to vision your own chromosomes, your own genes, your own DNA and RNA, and vision how you want God in processing with the Lord Visualize not destroyed, damaged genetic material, but visualize what you'd like to see. Let's say you're a child born with um, cerebral palsy and you're confined to a wheelchair. Like, if I was praying for you right now and you're here, I would say, visualize yourself out of the wheelchair, walking and running around from your genetic level. Visualize yourself not the way the devil has you seeing yourself, but the way you'd like to be restored and be. That's a much better way to visualize your basic foundational creative material from God. See yourself the way God would have you be, not the way the enemy would have you be. That's a beautiful use of your creative mind. Because remember, God made us in his image. And he's given us creative capacity and intelligence. And it's a great thing to use our intelligence to see it blessed in the Lord, not to be downtrodden by the enemy, even at the level of creation. So Lord, I want to pray into each and every one of you that you use your mind right now as I'm praying into your genetic material that you see yourself the way that you would like to see yourself being in the creation of the Lord, not in some way that the enemy has, has um, downtrodden you. So I want to pray, Lord, the blessings of God into every single one of these 46 chromosomes for each and every one of you. And I want to pray out the endless list. You cannot imagine how endless this list is of the mutations. If you were to, if you start to look at the research on this, it is endless, it's huge, it's gigantic. 
And but for God, this is a nothing. So I want to pray, Lord, at the miracle of creation that everybody have the incredible blessing from you, and that everybody's genetic material is a gift from the Heavenly Father with no darkness, no damage, nothing where the enemy can come in as a spoiler to make you be harmed, to make you be less than. So I want to come in at every level, Lord. I want to pray that if, I usually pray this into the cells, but I'm going to pray this into the genetic level too. There are just foundational levels that we, we don't want you guys to be vulnerable at. So I want to pray, Lord, that let's take out all the cancer at the genetic level, not just at the cellular level, but let's go down to the absolute genetic level. And Lord, I pray against every single um, oncogene that converts a normal cell to a cancerous <coughs> cell and turns it into a cell that has unregulated multi uh, replication. So Lord, I pray at the genetic level that we get rid of that mutation. Everybody's got this. I don't care if you've got carcinoma, sarcomas, lymphomas, leukemias. Endless things the enemy can do with that kind of illness. Whether you got this illness now, or you were programmed for it genetically, I want to come against this in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to pray that this gets crushed. And that it is not sitting in your genetic material. The basic foundation of what the enemy can do to keep that, to get that process going. And I want to pray all the protection be restored in each and every one of you that's dealing with this tonight. I want to pray in the DNA repair genes so that all of the repair work that each and every one of you and every one of us needs, who knows when any of us could develop a, a cancerous lesion of some sort or other, who wants that kind of stuff. Let's, let's Lord, I, I pray in um, DNA repair um, of anything that is needed for regulating um, the growth of tumors. I want to pray in um, the tumor suppressor genes. There's a whole bunch of these. One of the most important is P53, which is, of course, kind of a representative for all of those kinds of genes that God has created that, that, is, that comes against this. This is what we're all supposed to have. Um, something could trigger a mutation in you or you're just borderline. It could be a chemical from the environment. It could, it could be your own emotions. It could be some stuff you're taking in, um, even through the food that you eat that you shouldn't be eating because it's a, it's a trigger for you chemically and, and genetically. You shouldn't be having it. So I just want to pray at all of these levels, your apoptosis gene, your synaptic pruning, everything at that level, that, that it is conformed to the, to the creation of God, where it is clean, it is healthy, it is strong, and there is no impairment. And I pray that for each and every one of you as a foundation, so that none of the little DNA mutations can come in um, and mess you up because the foundation is not there to create a tumor. So I want to pray this for each and every one of you at that level of creation. And for each and every one of us tonight. And as I like to pray at the cellular level, but I'm going to do this at the genetic level for each and every one of you. All the major disease categories, let's pray into metabolic disease of your organ systems. And that's for all of you that have diabetes, that have heart disease, that have hypertension, that have, um, you know, any of these illnesses where your organs, you know, don't function, where you all of a sudden you don't have full kidney function. All of a sudden you only have 50% of your kidney functioning or 25%, or your liver is impaired and your liver's not working. These are where you've got these metabolic shutdowns of your organ systems. I want to pray against this as well. 
And I want to pray against autoimmune disease at the genetic level. I want to pray, Lord, that we would pray against inflammation for every single person in this room, not just at the cellular level, but I want to pray down at the, at the genetic level at the time of creation, and let's run this all the way up to today. Lord, there's no reason we, you know, I don't even, let's just stand from creation to now on each and every one of these things. Let's get rid of all the autoimmune diseases. Again, like cancer, it can affect every single part of your body. Metabolic diseases as well. Um, I want to pray against um, any of these things I've been praying lately, against um, any pH imbalances. You know, I've been kind of going um, more foundational with these things. Let's just get rid of this stuff, Lord. I pray into you that each and every one of us at the level of creation have these endless mutations just gotten rid of in, in, in ourselves. I want to pray against any neurological or orthopedic damage. Any of you here tonight with neurological issues, I know we've got that here tonight, and I want to pray against it. In, in any, any of you that have this, so that we, we have that level um, restored and healed. Any of you that need restoration, which is probably all of us, actually, even if you don't have neurological disease, but any of us that need um, healing and balancing at any structural level, whether it's muscles, ligaments, tendons, cartilage, connective tissue, nerves, um, joints, bones, um, anything that is part of our structure, including our microscopic structure of the cellular structure. I want to pray into each and every one of us because it's one of the ways that the enemy can break us down. So Lord, again, if you just go into the research on, on, the, on the genetics of structure, you just can't imagine how huge this is looking at every single structural condition that exists. Lord, you can heal everything and anything, and I want to come to you asking at every single one of these levels that we all get absolutely blessed and absolutely soothed and smoothed out and in beautiful shape. And so I want to pray into this for each and every one of us. I want our immunity to be incredibly strong and healthy because most of us have um, have pathogenic viruses, bacteria, fungus, parasites within our body contributing to illness and we don't even know that we have it. I want to pray to each and every one of you. Again, we're looking at a lot of stuff on the cellular level that can be very damaging, but I'm asking Lord that we go even deeper into this, into the genetic material so that we can get these mutations just um, healed and straightened around by you. That's a beautiful healing. And we need to have our minds healed as well. We need to have joyful, beautiful, happy, positive minds that do not allow the enemy to co-opt us. I'm going to be praying back on this because this is really crucial for our healing. The more our minds are positive and healed and healthy, the more we're going to get there. And the enemy will fight us tooth and nail on this. He'll fight us with our addictions. He'll fight us with our mindset. He'll do anything he can to try to not have this happen. So I want to pray this for each and every one of us who is here tonight at that level of foundation from the time of creation of each and every one of us to right now. And I want to pray, Lord, into our, our brains, which I always pray into. Um, I want to pray into our neurons. And again, let's just go into everything on these sheets. This is what I want you all to pray with me tonight in the most positive way to God. Let's go into all of our neurons, all of our um, neurological chemicals, and let's just cast out anything and everything that is not of the Lord. None of these things on this sheet are of God. These are all unholy things that we want to get rid of of the enemy. 
So let's go into our neurons. And each and every one of you, please pray with me right now. And, and I see all these things on the sheets here. And let's just ask God to get rid of every single one of these things embedded informationally in our neurons. That every single thing else that you have me put on these sheets. Let's just ask God for a wonderful healing of everything that we want him to take out. And let's get rid of all the damaged bad neurons. And again, I just want to remind you guys, you can pray into your own genetic material every day. You can pray into your neurons every day. There's nothing I'm praying into that you cannot pray into yourself. You don't have to sit around and you know and do endless reading of this stuff. And looking at all the medical research, you don't have to do that. Just start to pray into the, um, as I call them, the principles of what of what health and wellness is all about. Because we want you guys to be strong and healthy and full of life. Full of strength and full of life. And also full of joy, because joy gives us life. Um, lack of joy doesn't give us life. So Lord, I want to pray to each and everybody here. And I'm just looking at these sheets for you guys. And, and we want to just take all these things out. I'm seeing all the things you've written on here. And they absolutely should be taken out. And Lord, I want to pray again on the, on the level of the neurons to take out every single thing that you guys don't want to have. And you shouldn't have these things. I'm looking at what you've written on the sheets here. Cancer should be taken out. The um, neurological issues, whether it's ADD or ALS or poor memory or lack of focus or all the stuff on here, the autoimmune diseases should be taken out of you guys, the metabolic diseases, heart disease, diabetes, thyroid. We want all this stuff out of here. We want um, lack of energy taken out. We want all the um, structural issues taken out of you guys. We want the emotional issues. None of you guys need to have any of these things that are on these sheets in here. So let's, Lord, I pray to you to take out every single bad neuron, the codes for stuff that nobody wants, and it just makes anybody who's got these things not feel as good as they should be. So let's, Lord, let's pray this out, not only of the genetic material, but let's pray it out of the neurons which regulate every single part of us like the genetic material does. And a different way. It's not the mutations, which is a specific function at the genetic level, but it's damage in the informational system, and that's, you know, at a different level that, that is neurologic. And let's pray out every damaged bad neuron out of each and every one of us. I don't want any of this stuff any more than, than you guys do. None of the doctors want it, the pastors don't want it. So let's just pray this out in the name of the Lord, that everybody be freed from this, that your brains be clear, that your brains be positive. I want to pray joy into your organs. As I'm casting all of this out of your neurons, I want to pray not only that, God, you take out all the garbage and all the bad information and all the malprogrammed neurons, but I want to pray good, healthy, clean neurons like I always do. But I want to pray extra special, joyful neurons into everybody here tonight. That you get extra portions, Lord, of joy and happiness and, and lightness of being for each and every one of us. I don't necessarily pray this in any time. I think it's a really good thing to pray. Whatever we have, Lord, I'm praying for extra. So that not only do we know that you're going to heal us, that we really are a reflection of the light. I love those parts of the Bible, you know, that the gifts come from heaven. The gifts of the Lord, there's no darkness. There's no darkness in the Lord. So the gifts that come from God, there's no darkness in these gifts. They're, they're a joyful, beautiful thing. And, and so that we don't base ourselves even on how other people treat us. Let's say you're dealing with a lot of people that aren't believers, that 
don't have the light of God radiating through them. But you're going to bring the joy of God, not only within yourself, but to everything around you. And that we let God be the one that in him there is no darkness. He's the pure light. And that those people that don't have this, we're just there to radiate the love of God on them, not to, not to take them as, you know, they're messing us up or they're tormenting us or, you know. We want to radiate the light of God to them, and that's, that can be difficult. And I want to pray this in for each and every one of you, that the love of God be so strong within you, and the light of God's love, and the light that he beams down on every one of us from heaven, be so strong. So that's an antidote for illness, because the enemy is the one that makes your part of your body feel not so good. And so we want to, not only do we want to chase the enemy away, but we want to chase him out of each and every part of your body. Because that's all the stuff of these sheets. And so in healing you guys, of course we want your foundational genetic material to be healed. It's got to be healed. Because that's there as the way God created you to be. We don't want a bunch of holes and rips and tears in your genetic foundational material from the enemy. And on the other hand, we don't want your organs to be having the enemy come in and, and make your parts miserable. If you're going to have a stomach, we want a happy stomach. We want a happy pancreas. We want a happy thyroid. We want a happy brain. Because that's how God created us to be. It's, how, it's who God is. So, Lord, I just want to pray that in extra as I pray for everybody's neurons tonight. Healthy, strong, healed. You've got almost a hundred billion of these things. We want them nice and strong and healthy. But we want them to be filled with the joy of God as well. And I want to pray into all of the chemicals that are in, in these neurons. And make sure at the same time that you are completely sealed up so the enemy cannot get into any part of your brain, any part of your mind. We want this sealed and strong and healthy so that we are completely resistant to the enemy just kind of sneaking his way back in. We know that can happen. That's when people get relapses and people get sick again. And I want to pray that every one of us is nice and sealed and that the enemy is not sneaking his way in. We want, we want you to be stronger and stronger in the Lord. And I want to make sure that not only do we have nice, clean, healthy neurons, that God has cleaned all the bad ones out through apoptosis and synaptic pruning and anything else God does from the med what we would call medical side. But I want to make sure that your chemicals are balanced and perfect in Him and that they are feeling really good. And so let's balance. We're looking at an awful lot of chemicals. Remember, just at the genetic level, when we look at the, the base pairs, there's three billion ways that these things can, can be coding us. So Lord, I just have to call on you for this because this is so far beyond what any human being can do. We'll never have drugs that can do this. You know, who's going to take three billion pills a day? <laughs> All we're going to be doing is taking pills and getting tummy aches from, from taking billions of pills a day. So I want to call on you, Lord, to, to bless us in the most complicated way that you've created us with all of these tiny little details that get coded into us chemically. And so I want to call upon everything that is, for us, very complicated. Again, I love to pray to neurotransmitters, neuropeptides, neuroendocrine hormones. We can get endlessly detailed on this. And Lord, I'm going to pray that everything and everybody that needs to be balanced gets balanced. Because there is no health without balance. I say this endlessly when I do these healing sessions, but it's the absolute truth. Everything that you guys have that is a medical issue, when you go to the doctors, we can find um, things that are, quote, out of balance, that are out of range. That's, that's the medical issues. Every, everything we can test you guys on 
is either too low or too high, or this isn't in balance, or that. You know, inflammation, you've got pro-inflammatory pathways in the body with some chemicals, and you have anti-inflammatory pathways in the body. And inflammation is one of the biggest things that creates problems for us. Every illness virtually has some level of inflammation. I always like to say there's not a single one of us that doesn't have inflammation. I don't care where it is. It could be virtually any, anywhere in your whole body. Got to have the balance because when God brings us into balance and He creates the balance from the out of balance, you just automatically heal. Little Cooper, the golden retriever, he got two, he had two weeks to live. He gets prayed for, and all of a sudden, God throws him into balance and he gets healed. So let me begin this by praying balance for you guys. Let's pray this sin. Lord, I want to pray for each and every one of my brothers and sisters in Christ, the perfect balance, chemical pathways, the creation of the chemicals themselves. I want to restore, Lord, balance for all of my brothers and sisters in Christ, because the more we restore balance, the more you guys are healed, and the more you are cured. And where we can run into problems is literally... Um, genetics, as I mentioned, our minds. Our minds are one of the main things that will pull us out of balance. That can be one of the hardest habits to break. So, Lord, I want to come in at every level and pray for my brothers and sisters in Christ. I've been praying genetically for everybody at the level of your brain. I want to pray for all the neurological chemicals, but I want to pray for every chemical grouping within your body, and it's, it's virtually, it seems like it's infinite. So Lord, you can heal this in, in no time at all, Lord. You know, you're, the, you're the healer. So, so Lord, I want to pray to you, first of all, for balance for each and every one of us, so that we can let go of labels. Because we all get stuck with these labels of what we call illness. You know, I'm a this, I'm a that, you know, I'm, I'm a whatever. And that label kind of sticks on to us as this is our illness and this is our pattern. And we need to get rid of these. This is a foundational thing I want to pray for everybody here. Because we carry these labels through our lives. This is a tough one. Because we're so used to labeling ourselves as I'm a, I'm a street drug user, I'm an alcoholic, I'm a thyroid disease, I'm a diabetic, I'm a hypertensive, I'm a this, I'm a that. So Lord, I would like that we can just start to delabel ourselves because that in itself will help to free us from the enemy because the labels are one way when we keep the enemy in. So, Lord, I want to pray for, let's throw away the labels tonight. I don't usually pray into this, but I think you're kind of encouraging me to do this. So, I want to pray out every single one of these labels that's on these sheets. And it's a really good start to um, free this all up from, from beliefs that keep us stuck. Because the label itself of I'm of this, I'm of that is a way to keep us stuck. Because it's always negative. These are victim labels, and I don't mean that we're bad people or that we're doing stuff we shouldn't do, but these labels themselves render us more reactive to the enemy's bad intention. So I'd rather we all think of ourselves as perfect children of the Lord, that God is uplifting to better and better things, higher and higher levels, that every little thing he does is a blessing. Every tiny little thing that he does for each and every one of us is a blessing. And the more we're grateful to this, the, 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 the quicker it goes. So we want to let go of, that's hard. That's where I say the, the mind is a real um, difficult thing to work with because it will keep us stuck. And, and I want to pray that you are all perfect. You guys are beautiful children of God. He's created each and every one of us with beautiful, beautiful qualities, beautiful things about us. 
And I want to pray, Lord, that we just, that every one of us understands this about ourselves. It doesn't mean that we're, you know, um, egomaniacs or that we're, you know, we're not humble or any of that. That's not the case. I want to pray that we, we all just um, give ourselves over to you for all of the beautiful details of correction that only you can do for us, and that we're grateful for every single little thing. And we focus more on the little things or the huge things that you do for us, and we don't focus on all the bad things that the enemy does. It's a total refocusing of our minds away from, see, in the medical field, what do we do? You're constant, we don't cure you, and all we're doing is giving you drugs to keep you from going downhill faster. That is the medical field. We never cure you, and we're just trying to stave off what we consider to be the inevitable of the disease taking you down, 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 down. So here's the drug, here's the drug, here's the drug to try to keep you from going down, down, down. With God, everything is different because of who the Lord is. He's a creator. He's not a He's not here trying to like, you know, he put a lot of work into all of us. You know, we a lot of work for him when he created the world. So so I want, Lord, I just want to pray a blessing into every one of my brothers and sisters in Christ that we learn to use our minds more and more positively and creatively in you and know that wherever we are now, you can get us better and you can get us better and you can get us better and to focus more on that than the other way because that's the, the enemy way. So Lord, I want to pray into this for each and every one of you chemically, which is balance. That's the most important thing that I can pray into. I do like to pray into the, the general categories of brain chemicals because what I tend to pray into is very powerful from the Lord and that they represent thousands of chemicals as I pray into these things. It's incredible. But these are just categories that I'm praying into. So let's pray into these things because it's a blessing to do this. Because it not only affects your brain, it affects your whole body. So I want to pray into each and every one of us for the perfect balance of God's blessings. So let's pray into things you guys have heard me pray before. But these things just represent huge, huge categories of chemicals. On, on, when I pray into inhibitory and excitatory, we're really praying into the, into the concept of balance. When I mention these terms, these are concepts that medically we give to understand how chemicals work so that this kind of chemical does this thing, this kind of chemical does its opposite. So I'm, as I pray into you guys, I'm literally praying for the categories to be healed and blessed in you. So I want to pray in the name of Jesus for each and every one of us tonight that we balance, I can call them inhibitory, I can call them excitatory, but we're really praying into the whole balance of all these things to make each and every one of us healthier and healthier and more and more blessed so that our functions are working well, which is what we want. We want to be able to have the parts of us that aren't working so well be working well, and then and then we feel better because we're functioning. We, we can eat, we can eliminate, we can think, we can electrically be balanced. We can distribute blood throughout our body. You know, we can breathe oxygen, the breath of life in. I'm just mentioning different things from different organs. I want to pray that all of the column inhibitory, we call them excitatory, but we're really asking that all of these opposing and complementary groupings of, of infinite numbers of chemicals can be balanced in the way that we need these things to be balanced so we can have the functions of all of the cells, all the tissues, and all the organs that you have given us. Because when they don't function, again, I don't care what disease group you call it, as I've been praying for, but it just means you're out of balance. 
So, Lord, let's just give some examples. I'm just going to use these chemicals as examples. So, Lord, I want to pray for those things that are the slow-down chemicals like GABA, like taurine, like serotonin, like tryptophan, like 5-hydroxytryptophan, like endocannabinoids, like encathlons, like endorphins, like oxytocin, like vasopressin, because they're beautiful chemicals that work toward that side of what we need. And on the other side, on the speed up side, I want to pray into the glutamate, the dopamine, the acetylcholine, the norepinephrine, the epinephrine, the phenylalanine, the tyrosine, that all of these things come into God's perfect balance, perfect blessing for each and every one of you, because that's the end of the moment. Just know that when these things are balanced, you don't have any more illness. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? From that standpoint, it's a lot more simple than, than a bunch of drugs, like that poor woman with, who's now a happy woman who had uh, the box with those uncountable numbers of drug bottles. Um, God came in and she he balanced her, and all of a sudden she said, well, I'm, you know, I'm not depressed anymore. I'm happy, I'm feeling good. Um, my social relationships are getting better. My whole life has shifted. I want to pray this into each and every one of us because from God's standpoint, what seems really complicated to us from the standpoint of the Lord is nothing's very complicated. He created the world. He created everything in the world. So I want to pray this to each and every one of you. Because what is difficult for us in the medical field is, is very little from the standpoint of the Lord. So Lord, I just want to pray for each and every one of us that, that, that we get more and more and more into the blessings of your healing. Because as a doctor, I've never seen anything like the way God heals people as, in doing this medical ministry. I had, as I'd love to share with you guys, I had very good results as a doctor. I had excellent results. I loved my patients. They were very happy with me, and I saved a lot of people through the work that I did from having surgical procedures, from, from having medical issues, but I could not do what God does. I never saw this until I became a minister, and I started to see the biblical miracles of the Lord doing ministry. It's completely different than being a really good doctor. I considered myself a really good doctor, but compared to what God does, it's a nothing. Yeah, it was really nice to be able to see cancer patients do well and, you know, even get into remissions and, you know, little kids get healed and all kinds of stuff. But compared to what God does, as much as I love what I did, I was like a, like a, like a little nothing compared to the Lord. But when we really get down to it, Lord, I'm just a vessel that you're using. I know you we honor you with knowledge, and I thank you for the medical knowledge. I thank you for the knowledge that you've given us in the field. But, Lord, I honor you as the source, and I honor you for each and everybody who's here tonight, that, that you are the healer, and you are the source and that you can uplift us, and you can take us out of everything that's making us miserable and making us limited. And that's what I want to pray more than anything else into each and every one of you tonight, that, that, that the Lord who is with each and every one of us, that we take away anything that would um, shut down our ability to have you be with us, Lord, that we crush the enemy, that we curse the enemy, that we, that we don't let the enemy get in the way of God, because he's the only one that wants you guys to be sick. I just want to pray the blessings of God be upon each and every one of us, and I am so big I'm asking everybody to smile now, I can't. so I'm going to invite everybody to give big smiles. It's to God, really. It's the, the smiles are for God. And as I always say, you can do fake smiles, you can do real <laughs> smiles. They're all the same because you're going to get huge blessings and huge benefit from doing this. So 
The medical blessings of smileys are incredible because the enemy will keep you frowning, will keep you feeling like you're in jail. That is truly the word for the enemy. You are in jail. And who of us is going to smile when we're in jail? Nobody likes the idea of being in jail. So when you smile, which adults only do four times a day compared to the 500 plus times that kids do, think of Think of how little we do when we should be doing this all the time. So I want to pray that every one of us have big smiles, because we're really smiling for God. We can smile for each other, but fake smiles are just as good as real ones. Physiologically, we get tremendous blessings from doing this. It will serve you well. All the people here tonight with immune issues, it's a lot of people here tonight who have immune issues. I want to encourage every one of you with immune issues to smile your heart out. Do this every minute of every day. That's how you that's how you stop. It's one of the ways that we stop tanking our immune system to get cancers, to get autoimmune diseases, to get infectious diseases, to get allergies. I mean, look at how big this list is. None of us want this stuff. And when you smile, that's you immediately perk up your immune system. It's just a given. It's what we know. It's what we know from medical research. When we don't smile, we're just giving the enemy a big frown to make the enemy happy. We're just giving a happy smile to the enemy. So I want to encourage each and everybody here to do this. You get more energy, more strength. You get the goodness of the Lord. You get the healings. You get the blessings. You have more physical energy to just run around and do stuff. So I want to pray this for each and every one of you guys. Big smiles. Just, again, in the medical field, we're going to make you frown because we don't have anything good to say. We just, you know, I, I, who wants to, I don't want to go to doctors. I'm the first one to say this. I'm a doctor. The last thing I want to do is go to one of me. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a good doctor. I'm not here giving people bad information. Well, I don't want to see any of you. So go to doctors as you need. I'm not trying to say you guys shouldn't see doctors. Of course see doctors as you need. But as I say, endlessly don't listen to us. Listen to God. And, and just know that what we give you from the medical side is the best of what we have. We're going to give you the very best of what we have. And there are times where you absolutely have to be at the emergency room. You need to be in the hospital ward. Because we're going to give you all kinds of like stuff that's very helpful. I will not take away from what I saw in the ICUs and, and I, when I still pray in the hospitals. This is helpful. But the ultimate healing has got to come from God. It is not going to come from us. We will give you the best of what we have to, to keep you going. What we, what we can do is we can keep you going. But you got to go above what we can do if you want an actual healing. So as I say, take what we have and accept it that we're giving you the best we have, if that's what you want. But then go above us to the Lord. You use us, you, but number one, use God. That's where you're going to get the most blessings. So I want to pray for each and every one of you that you get the, the best at every level. And when I say the best at every level, I mean get the best of what we can give you medically. I mean, I was really helpful to patients. I just couldn't do what God did. You know, I did the best I could. Um, get the best of what integrative medicine is, which is where we give you those things that restore you, what we call coenzymes. Vitamins and minerals are what we call coenzymes and cofactors in the medical field because we need them to push chemical reactions to go in the right direction. They're very helpful. That's with you know, dietary things, nutrients, exercise, positive thinking. That is integrative medicine. So use the best of drug medicine, use integrative medicine, and number one, use God. Use this stuff and be absolutely blessed. So I just want to pray the absolute blessing for you guys. I just want to pray wonderful things for you all, to feel your best, have a blessed life, and, and, and thrive and flourish. And that's really what this is all about. 
to thrive and flourish in the Lord and have every blessing you can have. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. amen.